Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Before we get started in this video today, I wanted to celebrate with you guys. I hit 100 subscribers recently. That is a huge milestone for me, and it's all thanks to you guys. If you want to help me hit my next milestone of 200 subscribers, go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner, and that way I can continue making more content for you guys. In this week's video, I wanted to share with you guys our vacation. So we did a quick three day getaway down to Flagler Beach. We left on a Wednesday afternoon early and arrived in Flagler around five or six o'clock. This was the view as soon as we got into the hotel, we went ahead and crossed the street and went to the beach. Something interesting about this beach, I have never seen orange sand on a beach. Technically, it was all seashells, but still, I've never seen it. So here's a couple of views of the beach and the water and a little bit of us hanging out before dinner. Here's something we found extremely interesting. If you look closely in these waves, you're going to see a school of fish being sucked up by the wave and thrown back into the ocean. Did you see it? Well, I'm gonna slow it down for you so that you can see it. Cool, huh? Well, we sat there and watched that for at least 30 minutes, but I'm not gonna subject you to 30 minutes of fish watching. You're here to see my vacation. As you can tell, we are literally the only ones on the beach, which is why we are not wearing face masks. Um, but we picked this spot specifically because the hotel is located amongst residential houses. And so, that lowered the chances of the beach being crowded or having too many people on there. In any case, we had a fun and safe vacation. Over the course of this video, you're going to realize that I'm a bit frugal, which allows me to spend in other areas. And so this hotel was a steal. Yes, we had to walk across the street. Yes, this was the view from our hotel window, but it was a steal considering it was right on the beach. Speaking of spending in other areas, we had a fabulous dinner at the restaurant that is attached to the hotel we were staying at. All the information is in the description below, but I only got shots of the appetizer and dessert because we were just that hungry. We went to the beach one more time after dinner, and here is the walk back to the hotel from the beach. Sorry about the camera work, guys. I did not realize how bad it was until I started editing, but I just wanted to show you a little bit of the distance. We technically could have walked right across the street and went down um, the actual stairs, but we decided to enter down the street a little bit because the sand was much more compact and easier to walk on. The sand right in front of the hotel was very loose and not compacted at all, which made it difficult to walk. So here's a quick view of the hotel. We had a little kitchenette, a bathroom, and a bed. Um, 
But like I said, guys, it was a steal considering it was right there on the beach. Hold on, my, my hair is like... You know it's videoing, right? <laughs> it's oh, seriously? <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do that. So here's to the end of our first day on vacation. So for the start of day two, we had some housekeeping items to take care of um, for one of our businesses. And so we ended up at Publix. And while we were there, we picked up a boogie board that was on sale, by the way, a beach towel and some sandcastle items. While we were in the drive through to grab some caffeine, we noticed this sign on the building next to a very tempting lever. I don't know about you, but I'm wondering what that lever does. Your face. Oh, why is the money has a face? Why does the money have a face? Yeah, like, you know, like the coin, you know, like the money. But your face doesn't have money. <laughs> my face does. So money has a face, but my face doesn't have yeah, money. Yeah, the, the people, like, they worship money. Oh, I get it now. So, so it's like, kapag ang tao ay walang pera, like, when people doesn't have money, they get crazy, right? Mm -hmm. And then they they start calling God, and then they worship here, worship there. But when they get the money, they forget God. Oh, that's what the song is all. It's a very deep song. <laughs> <laughs> Here we did a little shopping in Flagler Beach and um, there wasn't much to shop at but we did find some interesting people. Daniel made a friend as you can tell. They had a lot in common. Let's just put it that way. We did do some more shopping. Um, like I said, I'm a frugal person. I spent probably $40 total that day, and I'm gonna show you why I was able to walk away with maybe three or four bagfuls of clothing and shoes, all for $40. Here I'm shopping a clearance rack, and the clearance price on that pair of shoes was $55. I'm gonna tell you right now, that is not a sale price. We literally walked out of that store so fast. We went to another store and I immediately go to clearance racks. I'm gonna tell you right now, if the clearance price is not under $5, I really don't look at it. So you see me looking at price tags first before I even look at the pieces of clothing. If you do it in that order, it's less likely um, that you're going to get attached to a piece of clothing before you realize it's out of your price range and you start to justify the purchase. So you'll see me, I am just looking right at price tags. I don't even consider 30% off as a sale price and I go for 75% off or more. As you can see, this shirt is under $4. And so the next step in my process is I pull the shirt off the rack. And if it's something that I would wear on a regular basis, I purchase it. If not, then it has to be cheaper for me to really want to buy it. The next thing I do is I hold on to that shirt while I continue to shop. And if I find something maybe that I like better, or if the shirt is no longer worth it after five minutes to me, I put it back. So that way it really just kind of weeds out the amount of purchasing that I do when it comes to shopping. So we finally made it to day three and we head back home um, on A1A as opposed to going up the interstate. We found that it was, since it was such a close place to our house, we wanted to take the scenic route. Uh, we did stop by St. Augustine and go through some of their little shops and and look at some of the architecture there but for the most part it was a pretty much straight shot home thank you guys for joining us on our mini vacation that we had a couple of weeks ago i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you look forward to the next video in the next video i will be reacting to homemade filipino sweets so you will not want to miss that
Want to see more? Subscribe here to my YouTube channel and turn on the notifications so you are notified every time I drop a video. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for all the latest updates and paintings. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.